Juice Gaming here, and today we're gonna play some Minecraft. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a toggleable nether portal. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay guys, so here it is, this is the nether portal, it's really quite simple, I'm gonna showcase it to you guys and then show you how to build it. So in terms of the showcasing for the actual thing that it does, as you might expect, it toggles your nether portal on and off, so you can toggle it on, like so, and toggle it off like so that um it's really quite simple at the back here we have an observer some bits of redstone and a redstone lamp uh oh and of course the dispensers in one of them we have flint and steel and in the other a water bucket to break the portal okay guys that's basically it for the showcase i don't think there's much to talk in this design so let's get straight to building so these are the items that you need um in terms of the obsidian you can get use 10 but then you won't have the edges here on your portal so it's your decision okay guys to start things off we're gonna build the actual nether portal i think only we can do this but just in case you go far wide one two three up then one two three up on the other side and four on the top like so here at the back on the left side of the portal we make a l shape going from this block here so the first block in the gap here so L shape like so an L shape and we break the part here so now we have like a diagonal line place a redstone dust on the bottom one right here and a redstone lamp on the top here you come and place the piston facing upwards from this block so you go like so then you go down here, you take your observer, you need to jump, uh, and remember the eye, this like dot on the observer needs to be facing this way. Now you're gonna place a temporary block here, another a block here, temporary block here, and a block here. We're gonna break these two here, so another diagonal line coming this way, but two redstone dust on it like so here we place both of the dispensers next to each other and you can cover it all up so it looks nice like that. and now guys this is very important the flint and steel goes into the left one so here and the water goes into the right one because if you do it the other way yeah stuff like this happens so remember okay guys so moment of truth here let's see if it works yeah, yeah yes great okay so that's your toggleable nether portal uh, there's not much more to say about this it's a toggleable nether portal. Of course, you can make it uh, bigger. Just then, it needs to uh, put these on the edges and modify this part of the redstone here a bit. So, if I do something like this and extend this like here, this here like so with redstone dust i'm pretty sure it will work too yeah so you can make it as big as you guys want you can go up 
perfect. Yeah, just every shape and size you want, you can get. So guys, I really do hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, it was a ton of fun to make, and I hope this toggleable nether portal will keep your piglins out. It's really annoying. The piglins get everywhere. I mean, guys, how can you live with this? This is horrible! Yeah, so this is really useful. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye! Oh.